Today, we begin our unit on the four food groups, starting with a six-week focus on whole grains. And to kick off our cereal studies, we'll be watching a video. TV in school. What a way to learn. And you guys know what it means when Miss Grokey shows us a video, don't you? We get a visit from the AV kid. Ma'am, I got a rec for a 27-inch and a forehead top loader. Please sign here, here, and here. Why, certainly, Brock. Thank you. My pleasure, ma'am. Whoa, did you see his keys? There must have been a gazillion of them. Actually, Gus, I calculate far fewer than a gazillion, but more than enough to open every room in the building twice. Now then, class, let me just plug in this VCR and we'll... Oh, goodness, Brock forgot to leave an extension cord. I'd be honored to get one from him, Miss Grokey. And I'd be honored to help. Two of you for one cord? Um, I hear they're heavy. Well, all right, but don't forget your... All passes! Man, this is great. I'm gonna be the first fourth grader ever to see the inside of the AV Kid room. Not if I beat you to it, Teach. Oh, yeah, we'll just see about them. Well, well, well. If it isn't Deadweiler and LaSalle. Out of class without your hall passes, I see. No, Miss Finster, you don't understand. Cry me a river, you truant hooligans. To the principal's office. March! The boys are with me, Miss Finster. You are familiar with this? Well, since you do have that laminated all-access hall pass, Brock, and since you vouch for them, well, all right, I'll let you two go this time. But don't let it happen again. Gee, thanks a lot, A.V. Kid. Yeah, if you hadn't come Shh. along... Class in session. Follow me. Huh? Whoa, half a door. That is so cool. You boys don't get off the playground much, do you? Here's what you came for. A grounded three-pronged 15-footer in safety orange. Whoa, first the hall pass, then the trick with the door, and now this? A.V. Kid, your job's amazing. Yeah, and I'm gonna miss it. So then he says, yeah, and I'm gonna miss it. And then he closes the rest of the door. Whoa. He's the most curious and enigmatic sixth grader. Is it true he never goes to class? Some say yes, some say no. Nobody's had much contact with him since the third grade, Gus. Third grade was when he was chosen to be AV Kid. Tradition says you can't be an AV Kid until fourth grade. But for Brock, they made an exception. Yep, he sure is going to be hard to replace. What are you talking about, Menlo? AV Kid, his folks are moving to Portugal and he has to turn in his keys, as it were. So that's what he meant by I'll miss it. By the by, anyone interested in applying for the job should report to the lunchroom immediately. See ya! Later! Where are those guys going? I'm guessing to see a kid about some keys. Man, this is gonna be great. Vince LaSalle, AV Kid. More like Vince LaSalle, friend of TJ Deadweiler, AV Kid. <laughs> Gee, how many kids did Menlo tell? Well, may the best kid win. Thank you. I appreciate your support. Candidates, line up. Candidates, the faculty has left it to me to choose my successor. In order to weed out the unworthy, I'll be conducting a battery of tests. Before we begin, are there any questions? Don't be shy. There's no such thing as a stupid question. What, pray tell, does the position pay? I stand corrected. Stupid question. Out. Now, let's see what you people are made of. There's only one way to properly wind an extension cord. Do it wrong, and you'll get knots like these. Now, who's been paying attention? A perfect double Dusseldorf release. Impressive. Merci. And now for my piece de Razy store. Hit it, girls. S-S-C-A-N-N-N-D-A-L-L-L-O-U-S. What's that spell? Out. No, silly. It spells scandalous. Ladies, those cords are precision pieces of electrical equipment, not toys. Out. Okay, candidates, let's focus. Operation of the OP4000 overhead projection system requires a keen eye, a steady hand, and unwavering maturity. <laughs> Out. It's a rainy day. The kindergartners are climbing the walls from being inside. What do you do? What do you do? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't... <laughs> Pathetic. LaSalle, rainy day. Kindergartner's going eight. What do you do? Roll the video card down the stat. They need a diversion, sir. Nice work, LaSalle. But only half the answer, sir. First, I lock and load the video player with a talking dog movie. Kindergartners love talking dogs, sir. Even nicer, Detweiler. LaSalle. Yes, sir. Pay attention to Detweiler. You might just learn something. <laughs> <laughs> nice hallway slalom performance, Detweiler. What can I say? I'm a natural. Okay, LaSalle, your turn. On your mark, get set, go! Ah. Whoa! Ow. Great 
time with Sal and an excellent innocent kid whistle. Yes! Woohoo! Ah, smoked ya. Almost makes you want to pack it in, don't it, Detweiler? Sir! No, sir! Sir! It makes me want to win. Candidates, parade rest. You've all done well, exceptionally well, but I've had to make some hard choices. Everyone is out except for the following three finalists. Detweiler? Yes! LaSalle? Woohoo! And Lance? Lance the Pants? That's good, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, survivors. Tomorrow will be your final test. After that, there will be two runners-up and one new AV kid. Go home and dream on it. Looks like my dream is about to become your worst nightmare. Don't bet on it, LaSalle. This ain't kid stuff like Kickball or Foursquare. This is the real world. Do you want to keep it down, LaSalle? I can hear your spoon all the way over here. Well, lucky for you, runner-up boy. I'm done eating. Whoa, done eating so fast? Guess you smoked me again. Hey, what's with you dopes? We thought you'd be all giddy and junk. Yes, we heard that the AV finalists had been narrowed down to three, and you both made the list. Well, the list is dropping down to one this afternoon, because I'm a shoe in for AV kid. I've had it with your attitude. I love to hang, guys, but it would mean fraternizing with the enemy. Yeah? Well, I gotta go work on my acceptance speech. Oh, horned monster of competition, how cruel thy wrath! Welcome to my Sanctum Sanctorum. <laughs> Candidates, no matter who is chosen today, each of you can look into your own hearts and know that you've competed in an honorable manner. Now, I have one final test, and then I will make my decision. Whoa, what are those? Film projectors, Detweiler. An ancient technology still deployed by Mr. Wood to show dental hygiene films from the 1950s. Each of these machines is jammed in the exact same way. Your mission is to fix the problem before the film runs out or melts. Remember, in this round, anything goes. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Yes, I got it. Me too. Hey, how come they're still chattering? There must be another jam besides the one behind the white doohickey. White doohickey? Mine jams up by that silver thingamabob. Gee, I guess if we were still pals, we could help each other out. Yeah, we could just switch machines. I'd unjam yours and you'd unjam mine. That is, if we were still pals. Yes! It worked! It is important to boss daily with the Canadian Bulldogs. Roaming free. I've seen enough, gentlemen. I'm ready to make my announcement. Three with you fellas and a chef! Listen, Teach, I said some pretty rough stuff before. And no, no, listen, I'm the one who... It's okay, man. You don't need to say it. You neither, buddy. Gentlemen, inside this box, I hold the keys. And it is my great honor to award these keys to the next AV kid of Third Street School. It's you, man. Nah, gotta be you. Lance. Yippee, yippee. Wait a second, you chose him over us? You are aware they call him Lance the Pants. Well, they won't be calling him that anymore. But, but... I know you're disappointed, boys, but AV Monitor is a special breed. A kid who doesn't long for the companionship of his fellow kid. Today, you two displayed a level of camaraderie, of true friendship, that was inspiring, admirable even. Unfortunately, it's that very quality which makes you unsuitable for the job. I'm sorry to have to say this, but... We know. Out. Come on, buddy. After you, my friend. Gee, guys, it's a real bummer neither one of you gets to be AV Kid. No biggie, Gush. How great could a job be if it went to Lance the Pants? <laughs> yeah, Lance the Pants. <laughs> That's rich. You know, it is kind of funny now that I think about it. Hilarious, really. <laughs> <laughs> hey, isn't that Lance the Pants? From now on, you can call me A.V. Kid the Pants. Chicken nickname. <laughs>